Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And as we continue my journey on building this two-stage dust collection system, in today's video I am going to build the filter box that attaches to the outlet of the dust collector. Should be a pretty straightforward build. I have an idea on how I can make it easy to mount and dismount and um, some other things as well. As I've shown in my other video, the output or the dust filter portion of my dust collector centers around this tractor trailer air intake filter. And so I have this and I need to build some way for it to interface with the exhaust of my dust collector. And so that's what I'm going to come up with right now. The plan is to build a small box with an opening on top to accept the filter element and an opening on bottom for the excess dust to fall through and be collected in a bucket. After measuring both the opening of the filter and the opening of the bucket, I have determined the optimal size of the box and began cutting out the tops and sides from a piece of plywood. This time, the holes were too small for my router jig and too big for my drill press hole cutter, so I had to resort to the jigsaw. Having a perfect circle wasn't critical, so the jigsaw was more than adequate for the job. I decided to build this box inside out, or with the frame on the outside. I did this to reduce the number of accumulation points for dust to be caught in. It should also make it easier to clean it out when that time comes. Once the box was finished, I had to locate the hole for the dust collector output. I simply held the box in position and traced the outline of the dust collector output flange. Then I subtracted the flange width from the perimeter of the outline. Having an inside out box made it difficult to cut the dust collector interface hole. I had to resort to my multi-tool with its dull blade to get the job done. It was a little slow and there was some burning, but eventually I got the hole cut out. The dust collector originally comes with this adapter to convert the rectangular output to a circular fitting that the hose can attach to. We are going to lose that adapter and bolt the outlet directly to the filter box. I plan on through bolting the filter box to the dust collector output. I mark and pre-drill the holes for the flange attachment. A part of the dust collector outlet flange was missing from a previous installation. So as you can see, I had to attach a small filler piece to the box to make up for that missing piece of flange. In order to get a good seal between the box and the bucket, I added some rubber weather stripping to the underside of the box. The filter comes with a seal pre-installed, so I didn't need to do anything for it. In order to fasten the filter and the bucket to the box, first I need to locate and drill a 1 half inch hole in the center of each item. More weather stripping is used around the dust collector outlet flange. With the box construction complete, I can now attach it both to the wall and to the dust collector outlet flange. Before mounting the filter cartridge, I slip one threaded rod with a washer and nut through the top hole. I wanted everything to be as compact as possible. I soon found out that the upper flange of the filter interfered with that compact design. Luckily, that flange has nothing to do with the performance of the filter, so I was able to slice off a small portion so that side could fit snugly against the wall. Now I attach a coupling nut to the end of the threaded rod that is dangling inside the filter box. All that is left now is to slide the threaded rod through the bottom of the bucket and connect it to the coupling nut inside the filter box. Once everything is tightened down to ensure an adequate seal, the filter assembly is fully complete. Thank you. 
Well, let's just say that one wasn't without its challenges. Um, I used the anemometer real quick on the inlet, and it's looking like um, I don't have very much of a drop after I put this filter on. I saw more of a, a suction drop by adding the cyclone. So from no cyclone to cyclone, there was a larger drop than there was from cyclone to discharge filter. So um, there, you know, there's going to be some efficiency loss, but in these systems, there's always going to be efficiency loss, and then there will be more efficiency lost as I add ducting to everything and um, it'll create some airflow resistance which will also drop the suction a little bit. In all honesty, if I can just get dust collection to my table saw, I'll be happy and everything else will just be a bonus because everything else isn't as messy as the table saw is. So that wraps it up for this episode. Um, I hope that this was interesting to you guys. You see my, kind of my process and you kind of see how I put this all together. It's actually very simple. It's just a box with two holes in it and then you sandwich the filter and the bucket on top of the box using a threaded rod. Um, so uh, I just had those challenges that you saw along the way, but that's kind of how it is when you're doing something for the first time, prototyping things, and I'm just glad it worked out. So in the next episode, I will cover all the ducting and all the adapters that I'm going to have to make for that duct and what I'm using for blast gates, and uh, so I hope you guys tune in for that one. If you like this type of content, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you would do me a favor, go ahead and like and share and even comment below in this video. It really does help out the channel, and it doesn't really cost you anything, just maybe a little bit of time. Also, all the tools and supplies that I use in this video, I will have linked down in the description below. These are Amazon affiliate links, so by clicking on those links, I receive a commission for every purchase that is made, and that all happens at no extra cost to you, so it would really help the channel out if you use those links. Thanks everybody for watching to this point. I have lots of exciting content coming up on my channel. I hope you stick around to see it, but until then, I'll see you guys next time.